And new tonight at 730, a local restaurant is looking to rebuild their community by lending a hand to those in need. KDKA photojournalist Damia Catanza shares how they're providing so much more than just a hot meal. Um, I've never seen a place like this that does everything is community based. Who has the bowl? The wedding soup were notorious for. <laughs> now you don't get that anywhere. When you ask what makes the community cafe so special, the list is very long. We just felt like we needed to do something here to help our neighbors out. For me, is that it is a very bright light in downtown New Kensington. Uh, it's been part of our community for nearly eight years now. I like to call it, it's, it's kind of a partnership cafe. I think it's a wonderful idea. I've known some friends who have um, fallen upon hard times and they're able to come here and work in the evening and get a meal. Prior to COVID, we were giving away on average four to 500 meals per month. Since COVID, it's gone up to between 1,500 to 2,000 meals a month. Uh, we always say, though, it's not just feeding them food, it's feeding their souls. You know, I don't want to say it, but vaccinations, you can come down here and get vaccinated and get a, a meal when COVID was going on. I mean, there was all kind of uh, programs down here to benefit the community. And, and we knew people were passionate about the community. They wanted the community to come back. And so they just needed a spark. They needed someone to kind of take that step. Came up with the name Need, uh, Needing Dough, bringing people together and work. We came outside and saw this Pillsbury Best ghost sign on the side and just felt it had to be a sign from God. Historically, what was in here? Sons of Italy. Kind of went overboard with the renovations that we did. We could have opened the doors and started serving and just kind of cleaned things up, but we decided if we're going to do this, we wanted to do it right. You got your shrimp in there. You got some Andouille sausage. You have your shrimp, grits, cheese. It's on a soup kitchen feel. When you come in, it feels like a really nice restaurant. On Thursday nights, they have uh, like a congregate feeding, so if you're homeless or down on your luck, you can stop by here on Thursday evenings and get a free meal. Mary and Kevin uh, kind of put a stake in the ground, bought this building and said, this is our vision, this is our dream. It's like the whole community woke up to the possibilities of downtown New Kensington again. That was KDK photojournalist Damian Catanza reporting. For more information on Needs Cafe, you can check out this story over on our website.